What's up everybody? It's Alex and RJ here from Backyard Sprouts and today we're going to be showing you how we use our burpee seed starter kits to get our little baby sprouts started. Alright everyone, so what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be doing the burpee seed starter kit. Oh my god, that is bright. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be doing the burpee seed starter kit right here and I'm going to get my face off the camera because it's only wanting to focus on my face. So what we have here is the 36 cell and as we said in the previous videos we've done 30 uh, burpee seed starters do come in 36 and 72 okay so today we're going to be in the 36 and if you're someone like myself who is just getting started on this I had a ton of questions even though the instructions are pretty explicit um, and they make sense if you're someone like me I'd rather watch a video and see someone do it first before I make a mistake and have to buy another one of these because I have the first one up all right so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and open this thing up get it all set and I'm gonna be planting spinach today because my garden looks like I'm short I believe I just counted 22 heads of spinach so I'm gonna be putting in 22 in here and maybe fill in the rest of it with arugula all right all right so here's our burpee seed starting kit and let's pop this sucker open okay so when you guys open your burpee seed starter kit you're gonna come up you're gonna come with this tray all right so this is the watering tray you're gonna come with your actual burpee seed starting pellets here are very interesting. They're like a coconut based mixture of soil and coconut and other various mixtures of soil. All right. And then you have your watering mat. Okay, so you have your white side and your black side. We'll go in more into this a little bit deeper, but the purpose of this pretty much is what it does is it absorbs the water from your tray and fills it into the cells, so it's very low maintenance. Comes with your uh, soil mixture, just this little cheapo wooden stick here. And then it comes with a nifty paper thing that keeps track of you know, the dates you put your crops in and whatever piece of information you wanna put in there. And here's the germination lid, okay? This goes right on top. And what that does is it promotes humidity inside the tray, promoting germination. So, a pro tip that I'm going to tell you guys is something that I've learned after I've done about three of these already. What you want to do, what I tend to do first, is I tend to put water in it. The reason being is if I put the watering tray, the watering mat, and then the tray itself. All right, what's gonna happen here is once you've filled all this up and it's good to go, and I'll show you guys in a bit here what I'm talking about, and you've planted your seeds, instead of like trying to push this to the side and water the side over here or lift all this up and now you're spilling some dirt all over the place and you have to lift this and then lift the mat, and it's just a clusterfuck. So what you wanna do, what I've done is just water it first. So hopefully this helps a bunch of you guys starting out, but I'm going to water this right off the bat. I'm gonna save myself a lot of time here. So normally Burpee rep recommends about uh, an inch of water. All right, that's pretty good right there. And then I'm gonna put my watering tray. And then the watering mat. Okay, so the watering mat, what you wanna do here is you wanna put the black side facing up, all right? And it's just this weird felt material that pretty much soaks up the water from the side and it waters the tray itself. So it's actually really cool. It's very low maintenance, all right? That's it, black side up. Next step here is if you look at these pellets, they're rounded on the sides and flat on, on tops and bottom. Burpee recommends that you put the flat sides 
down. So when you put water and it expands this way, it's expanding up, up vertically and not horizontally pressing against the side of the cells. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do here is pretty much just flip all of these facing flat side down. All right, so what you guys are gonna do here is just gonna start to fill it, fill it up with water. You're gonna fill each cell. Okay, and you're gonna watch the little pellets grow vertically. And you finish the last cell. Start a timer for three to five minutes. And we'll watch these pellets grow vertically. Set our timer, three to five minutes, starting now. When you guys see some pellets that are a little more stubborn and isn't rising up and down like the rest, just add a little bit more water into them. Cool. We're gonna take our soil starter or soil mixer here that it comes with. And what you're gonna see me do is you're just gonna see me break this thing up. All right, you guys. So once you've gotten your soil crushed and looking good here, all right, and it's nice and fluffy, and then what you do is you kind of just press gently so it's nice and flat and uniformed along the way. And the last thing you guys have to do is seed them. Once you have all your seeds in there, cover them up. Good luck, little seedlings. Once you have covered them, just give it a little bit of sprinkle of water. And last but not least, take your humidity lid. Cover it up. And that is it. Hi, bubs. <laughs> hey. Hey. What you doing? What you doing? All right, and that pretty much concludes our burpee. Ah. 36 cell burpee self watering seed starting system. Fairly simple. Directions are very easy to follow, but why we're doing this is so we can help the community out, okay? If you're someone like me, even though things are very simple, they seem very easy. Uh, it always is very helpful when you're watching someone else do it, kind of shadow them, make sure that you're not making any mistakes along the way. That way you don't have to buy another, another burpee seed system. The only thing to note here, like that pro tip I was telling you guys, is water that tray beforehand because if you finish this whole process, now you have to water the actual tray inside. You have to, you have to pick everything up and then water the tray and put everything back in. All right, so that's a pro tip from us. I like that watering system I got here. It's like a, it's like a genie lamp, right? I wish for a bountiful harvest. Super cool. Well, like I said, that concludes our uh, how-to video, how to open up and start a burpee seed starting system from start to finish. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, before I forget, another pro tip from RJ, the germination lid. This is actually big on the forums. A lot of people are complaining that theirs isn't snapping on. It is actually not 
meant to snap on, okay? It's just supposed to sit right on top of it. That's all it's supposed to do, okay? So if you're trying to snap this on, it's not going to do that. So don't freak out if it doesn't snap on. It's just meant to lay on top. So it's gonna, it's gonna have a little wiggle, but that's what it's meant to do. All right, cool, bye. We hope you guys found that video helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And as always, Alex and I are trying to build a community of like minds, so we would absolutely love it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button so you guys get the latest on our urban farming adventure, and we will see you guys next time. And as always, Alex and I are trying to build a community of like minds, so we would absolutely love it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button, and we will catch you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs>